First down. Let's go, D, let's go. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. The numbers on the ground for Hunt a week ago. 22 carries, 83 yards. And they love what they've got in him. He's the number four rusher in the league right now, so you know that you have to account for him on defense, which means you can play complimentary football as well. Throw the play action, oh, get wow. it out to the wide receivers, because they should have some open space, because the defense will key on them. 16 yards, a first down. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. Seven yards to pick up on the pitch and catch. Oh, they're moving the football on us, that's for sure. Well, if you do read man you gotta wait Brandon, to slow down. the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. To throw again on second down, Mayfield. And that's going to be incomplete. The tight end, David Njoku, the intended receiver, and it's third and short. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. Here's Mayfield. Left side, it's Beckham. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. The Browns passing game finding its stride. They've got another first down. Well, I know from past experience, before you actually play a game, you visualize what's going to happen. And I don't know anyone who doesn't visualize themselves being in the center of what's going on. That's three catches for him here in the early going. He's got to like the way this is starting. Absolutely. Three catches on any drive is good. Opening drive, that's a tone setter. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. We should mention, to go along with a great game he had last week, he was rightfully named AFC Offensive Player of the Week. And he shares that with his offensive line, the tight end, his pullback. He's looking for more and more of that in this game. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. He was looking to get it to Jarvis Landry that time, and it's third and short. Got the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling nowhere to escape. Yeah, get down, boy. Down. Taylor Rapp. Sack, baby. Sack. Well, about how teams are so competitively matched, and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal? That's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. The kick by Parkey is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. A dozen plays on that drive that ends with the field goal. Let's go ahead and break out some of the old chestnuts here, right, partner? Keep the ball in front, rally to it, and make the tackle. Right? No big plays given up. No balls over your head. Bend. Don't break. Hold on, hold on. Chestnuts? Huh, you like Come that on, one? what does that mean? Break out the just because you're breaking break chestnuts? I, I'm not sure about that, but I'm just going with why they said that. I have no idea. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and ten at the 31 yard line. Go, go, go. From the gun, here's Golf. It's caught left side by Cooks. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. Now Goff will hand this one to Gurley. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A second down play results in a loss of two yards. We all know that Miles Garrett was drafted number one in the NFL for his ability to get to the quarterback. That's his stock in trade. But the underrated part of his game plays well against the run, knows how to hold the point of attack. Here we go. 76. 76. From the gun on third down, gone. They got him in. It's Woods. And he's taken yeah, down that's at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Goff to Woods as the Rams move the chains. Here's Gurley now, out of the gun. And he's going to take this across the 50 into Brown's territory. 
A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Two yards, good enough for a first. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is what every back in the league is supposed to do, exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. On first down, gone. Right side complete, that's Woods. That one a 14-yard play, and it keeps this drive moving. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds, because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? Now a play fake here on first down. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. He was looking to go back to Cooks one more time. Oh, they're blitzing? And now it's second down. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, of course the incompletion. Well, it had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. That was the eighth play of the drive, so a somewhat fitting pickup of eight yards. In today's football, the receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage. When you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the I really spot, wish they wouldn't move Miles Garrett around like they're the moving up. 12 yards there as they move the chains. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect sometimes us. Sometimes on the right, be an sometimes issue. on the left. And then the next breath they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. Right, there goes Todd. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Second down, it's Henderson. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. A shotgun snap for gone. And it's caught for a Rams touchdown by Brandon Cooks. Brandon Cooks with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Rams add on to their lead. So they've had two drives, and he's had the two receiving touchdowns. And how about a game plan where you decide to force feed or feature someone, and it works. First two drives, as you noted, end up in touchdown passes. I think they're going to keep going to him until a defense makes any kind of an adjustment. Zerline good with a PAT. It was really good that we the held that to field goal last time. The extra point winds up six. Well, good thing we're training Henderson because Gurley could be out a couple weeks. They'll begin the drive with Hunt. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Uh, give their defense just to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Well, that's to the right side and nice complete tackle. to Najoku. And it appears we've got there a goes Littleton. Ram shaken up on that last play. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. The Browns on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and eight. From the gun, Mayfield. He's got Najoku, his big tight end. They stop you had to get eight yards. Why would you throw it four yards? Four down. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. 
So on fourth down, Britton Colquitt on the punt. JoJo Natson back deep. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. Elbow sprain, okay. It'll be okay. Want to remind you that coming up tomorrow night, we wrap up week three with a good NFC battle. A couple of teams that have been around a long time. Bears and Redskins from FedEx Field at 8.15 Eastern. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. From the 27, golf. That's caught by his yeah, tight boy. end, Gerald Everett. How are you going to double A gap blitz me? But he takes it up to the four. How are you going to double A gap blitz me? All right, let's let this clock run out. Take it all the way down to the half. We've got a 14-3 so ball Cup game hurt. with we have two Todd minutes Gurley left hurt. in the opening half. Corey Littleton is now hurt. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half, as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. A gain of three, second down. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. <laughs> on second and seven, golf. They got a man over the middle. It's Woods. A gain there of 21 yards. Goff now. Only one pass has hit the ground for him. 10 of 11 thus far. It's first and 10. Here's Goff. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and 10. It actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. On second and 10, gone. Working the middle here. That's complete to Everett, the tight end. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. Call a timeout there. He's going to go ahead and use the first to their lead this outs. clock out. Lead it the out. The clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. Even if I just kick a field goal, I'd be happy with it. I honestly would. They'll go back to Henderson on first down. And he'll get into the he end got in. zone. Touchdown Rams. Daryl Henderson, his second touchdown on the season. And the Rams <laughs> add on to their lead. Ooh. I heard a coach talk about those late in the half scores, especially ones that give your team a pretty decent cushion. He said, oh, this is blocked. The Browns have it. But he doesn't get far. They're able to stop on, him. Son. And after all that, the extra point attempt unsuccessful. I remember when. What are you going to do, Baker? You got three timeouts. You going to go into a three tight end set? Heading out as a Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, then you just run the clock out. Oh, the what a play. Room. 
they're going to be waiting for him as they get him behind the line. So we've come to halftime. It's the visiting Rams taking the lead to the break. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, very well -rounded time attack. to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. We'll start up at TIAA Stadium in Jacksonville. And as you see, they were winners back on Thursday night. 24-8, the final score. From there, we're off to check out another game. And they were winners in that one over the visiting Cincinnati Bengals. Josh Allen, sharp in the victory, as his guys bounce back from a tough start to the year to claim victory number one. And finally, on Monday Night Football, a good one in the NFC. Bears, Redskins from FedEx Field. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back. Yeah, stretch for out. Quarter number Get all three. stretched out. <laughs> they don't have a prayer. Mayfield on first down. Completes this to Cataway over on the right side. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. I am not going to give up the big play. Just inside the 30. They'll run with Hunt on second down. And they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. I think it's pretty evident. We can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, it stopped him cold. That to me, that's good scouting. Oh yeah. And better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. And we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Hey, Golf will lead the Rams clock. up here first and 10 65, at their own 22. 65. They'll run with Henderson here to begin the drive. And he's got some space here. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Attaway, Darryl. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. This is a little bit like baseball here. Strong up the middle. Both sides want to be that. In this case, the offense ends up winning the ultimate battle. And those big runs between the tackles, that's a little deflating for a defense, isn't it? It really is because that's where your strength's supposed to be. You're supposed to be in a spot where they can't make that yardage there. You're supposed to send them outside. Not in this case. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. From the gun again to Henderson. And he's going to take oh, this I couldn't make a miss in a phone booth. into Browns territory. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out. But a running game can really benefit your team right now. Let's go. Check how you want. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Check, check, check. Hey, dude. Goff wants to throw on third and one. This pass complete to Reynolds. And he got him. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. That was a long pass. Josh Let's go. Reynolds, his first touchdown you can't blitz the, the safety season. on me. Leave him in the Rams middle of the field wide open. Their lead. And a nice what a block. job by him to catch the slant and then navigate and break free. What a block by Cooks. receivers love slant routes because it gets the ball in their hands so quickly and oftentimes on the move, and when they're on the move like that, then they get to use their best asset, which is usually their speed. And their speed sometimes, like this instance, can take them into the end zone. Zerline now for the PAT. 
We are just pounding. Pounding. And the lead is now 24. Just a four-play drive that time. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. I don't think I've punted all <laughs> these three three games yet. Zone. And no run back here. This I've only a fumbled a couple times. And it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and ten. Just lets you guys know I am playing on all pro. Up now first and ten at their own 25-yard line. And it's so before been you guys like say uh, I'm playing on pro or rookie, I'm not playing on all pro. The line. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. But these guys going to chop into that deficit. Just to prove it, I'll show you in the menu here. Go to settings. All pro simulation. All pro simulation. And do we have an injury report? Can we get Todd Gurley's uh, status? He's just out for the game. Okay. Cooper Cup is still, still got two weeks left. In the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage would be found. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. Throw left side, caught by the tight end, Njoku. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot. What easily. are you doing? Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back I on like their heels. I like how Baker is playing like a gunslinger, though. I like that. That's how he plays. A carry by Henderson to start the drive. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. And that run there does nothing but juice up the guys who are moving the football. I mean, if you're an offensive lineman, people running it, actually the guy calling plays, you're almost jumping up and down jubilation, aren't you? Yeah, now you've got options on second down. And big time options. You might want to think about play action and try and get something cheap right here over the top. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Back to back good plays, have them on the move on first down. Shotgun handoff to Brown here. And oh, yeah. Get him down, but not before Just he fall takes forward, baby. Keep falling forward. Line. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards. My, our running back unit is just so plays. deep. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. They go play action here on first down, and this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. He was looking to go back to Cooks one more time, and it's second down. Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let, let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, just nice keep job to force the incompletion. Nine yards on the pickup there as he'll be left with third and one. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick. He's been decisive. And he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. Goff on third down. Throw left side to Reynolds. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. It's an 11 Man, Goff's short to medium passing range is just so deadly accurate. 
Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Same exact result as last play, a pickup of 11. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. 76, 76, 76. Now a first down throw, gone. Looking for Cooks, and it's uh, intercepted. Picked off by Demarius Randall. Damn it, he's going to take it all the way. And it's a big turnover there on the final play of the quarter. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. Darn You're watching the NFL mistake. on EA Sports. On first down, it's Hunt. Try to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. This run defense has been pretty stout all game long. Now you're here in the fourth quarter. Let's rely more on the passing. It's in. Joku pulls this one in. He's got it for a Cleveland touchdown. David Njoku. His first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Browns take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash this one in. And Potter, they found a gap there on the post pattern in the middle of the end zone. And ordinarily, that's a tough spot to find because there's usually coverage. All right, they're trying to claw back now. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He gets it to Cooks. And they get you can't be putting an outside linebacker on uh, <laughs> Brady line. Cooks. An excellent way to start can't do the it. drive there. 18 yards. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out to me, it's a video game, man. Go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. <laughs> Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Brand, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, yeah. whatever it's going to take to slow Use that down. stiff arm to get extra and yards. down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. 16 yards, a first down. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously. But at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. Now left, he's got it to Everett. And he's there brought we go. down just outside of the 10 at the Let's 11. keep grinding. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give him a chance to let it develop oh, a little blitzing? bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Throwing again on second down. Golf. Gerald Everett. Yeah, boy. Wide open. 